guys, welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. Today, we are in the new 2019 Honda Civic sedan, courtesy of Apple Honda in York, PA. And so I am in this one today because I have owned three or four Civics in my lifetime. So needless to say, I am quite partial to them. So let's just jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so there will be several different trim levels available for the 2019 Civic sedan. First one being the LX, starting at $19,450. Then you have the Sport, which is a new trim level for the Civic Sedan, starting at $21,150. Then there is the EX for $23,400, EXL for $24,600, and lastly the Touring, starting at $27,300. But so then to go along with those plenty of trim levels, there are two different engine setups available. And so the first one belonging to the LX and Sport trim levels, that is going to be a 2-liter naturally aspirated inline 4-cylinder, putting out 158 horsepower at 6,500 RPM. 138 pound-feet of torque available at 4200 rpm power is going to be sent to the front wheels through your choice of either a six-speed manual or a cvt which adds 800 dollars if you are interested but mpg numbers with that are going to come in at 25 in the city 36 on the highway for the six-speed and 29 city 37 highway for the cvt and by the way with either engine setup this one does take regular unleaded fuel or 87 octane then there is the other engine setup belonging to the remaining trim levels i didn't mention that one is going to be a 1.5 liter turbocharged inline four cylinder putting out 174 horsepower at 6,000 rpm 162 pound feet of torque available at 1700 rpm power once again sent to the front wheels and with this engine set up a cvt is going to come standard if you wanted a six speed that is going to be available strictly for the ex trim level if you wanted it but Either way, MPG numbers on this engine set up 32 in the city, 42 on the highway. And like I said, having owned several Civics, one of the things that really contributes to better MPGs in a Civic, there is an econ button just beside the shifter there. When I pressed that when I was driving to work, a lot of times I got up to 50 miles per gallon. And that was a lot of highway driving, of course, but that econ button definitely is there to help. So it's going to limit throttle response. You are going to get a little slower acceleration, but it's also going to limit climate control. But in the end if you can deal with that you're going to get some crazy mpgs without this civic even being a hybrid but so now since i mentioned all of that let me get back to our little drag strip here in the parking lot and let's do a quick little acceleration and see how quickly we can get this new 2019 honda civic here up to speed not that bad cvt is kind of like meh i will say if you want a little more driving enjoyment in the civic with the six-speed manual but and historically honda has been known for having some of the nicest manuals put out there in existence so that's definitely going to be there for you but yeah civic is a bit slow shouldn't have any issues with merging onto the highway but it's definitely not the fastest car out there and so then to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important and so up front you will find 11.1 inch ventilated front discs in the back 10.2 inch solid rear discs and as far as the braking feel goes in my short little driving stint today i will say it is definitely nice there is no brake pedal delay and it brings you to an immediate stop so definitely very impressed with the brakes touching on suspension and handling a little bit there is a mcpherson strut front suspension multi-link rear suspension also front and rear stabilizer bars as far as the steering feel goes i remember in the past maybe my 2006 civic i feel like that one did have a little heavier of a steering feel to it this one's not bad it's just not as heavy as it used to be i feel like but ride quality is definitely nice no issues there cabin noise once again definitely no issues there and when it comes to visibility i can see perfectly fine out the back and typically with the sedan you're definitely not going to have any issues with visibility so but enough of the driving dynamics you guys let's check out the exterior of this brand new 2019 honda civic sedan and so starting up front to the sides you will find projector beam halogen headlights which will come standard on all trims but the touring trim level and those headlights either way will come with the automatic feature meaning they will turn on automatically for you when it starts to get dark out and so i mentioned every trim but the touring trim touring trim is actually going to give you those led headlights and if you went with the sport trim level and up you will find fog lights just below as well but make your way to the side there are body colored power adjustable side mirrors that will come standard if you went with the ex trim level and up the side mirrors will be heated and with the touring trim level you will find led integrated turn signals in them as well zooming out a little bit chrome window surrounds will come standard on all trim levels taking a look down at the wheels they are going to differ based on the trim level once again lx trim is going to 
gonna give you 16 inch steel wheels with covers, AKA hubcaps. EX trim levels are gonna give you 17 inch alloy wheels and the 18 inch alloy wheels are gonna be reserved for the sport trim that you're looking at right now, but also the touring trim level as well. Then make your way to the back on this one. You will find a rear spoiler for the sport trim level and up. Sport trim level badging if you went with that trim level as well. LED taillights will actually come standard on every single trim level. That's kind of a safety feature in itself. And just below it all, if you went with the sport trim level, at least you will find a rear diffuser with a center mount exhaust. Otherwise, for all other trim levels besides the sport, that single exhaust outlet's gonna kind of be tucked away underneath. But since we have the center mount exhaust, you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. So, but now since we are round back as far as how to open that rear trunk there actually is a button on the key fob for that so simply press that if you like once opened up cargo capacity is going to come in at 15.1 cubic feet for all trim levels but the touring touring trim level is going to give you 14.7 cubic feet either way if that was not enough space there is a 60 40 split meaning those rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space if you needed it there make your way up to the rear legroom that comes in at 37.4 inches so for reference i'm an even six feet tall this is how much space I have back there. Make your way to the front seats. They are manually adjustable cloth seats. EX trim level is going to give you an eight-way power adjustable driver's seat and those seats will be heated actually as well with the EX trim level and up. Leather seating of course belonging to the EXL, L meaning leather of course. And then looking forward there is a tilt and telescoping steering wheel it will come leather wrapped for the sport trim level and up that's what you're looking at right now and but so then when it comes to the startup let me first start by showing you guys the key here you do have your honda logo on the one side and when you flip it over lock unlock that button to pop the rear hatch and that circular button there that is actually going to be your remote start so that is definitely pretty nice but sport trim level and up is going to give you a bright red push button start just like the honda s2000 back in the day that pioneered the push button starts really for all manufacturers factors in my opinion but either way all I'm going to do is simply put my foot on the brake and press that red engine start button but so that once started up engine temp is on the left fuel gauge is on your right there is a large digital display front and center and cool part about that digital display is it's going to change color ever so slightly depending on how you're driving and civics have been doing this for a while but it's going to show up green if you're driving more conservatively letting you know you're going to get some better mpgs and then it's going to turn blue if you're punching it or flooring it letting you know that it's going to be sucking up gas quite a bit. So now let's touch on overall interior quality for the sport trim level and touring trims. You will actually find alloy foot pedals. That's definitely pretty sweet. Dual zone climate control is going to come with the EX trim level and up. Home link controls, meaning the garage door openers, that's going to come with the EXL trim level and up. You will also get an auto dimming rear view mirror with the EXL and up. And you will find a power moonroof if you go with the EX trim level and up. So that is why we do not have it in the sport trim level today. But so now let's take a look at the tech display. Five inch display screen is going to come with the LX, but if you go with the sport trim level and up, you will find a seven inch color touchscreen display. And this is interesting because if you went with the Civic hatchback, the sport trim level is gonna give you that smaller display. Whereas in the sedan, sport trim level gives you the seven inch color touchscreen display. So that's kind of interesting. But this seven inch display screen is important because it's gonna give you Bluetooth and audio streaming, but also Android Auto and Apple CarPlay that you do not get with the smaller display screen. So that's gonna give you free navigation through your smartphone, also the ability to like and dislike your Pandora songs up on that screen. Factory navigation system is gonna come with the touring trim level. And you can also check out your radio settings up there either way. By the way, when it comes to the sound system, LX and sport trim levels are gonna give you four speakers, 160 watts. EX trim levels are gonna give you eight speakers and 180 watts. And lastly, the touring trim level is gonna give you 10 speakers, 450 watts and a subwoofer. So since we have the sport trim level, you guys know what that means. We actually have four speakers today. So I'm curious with four speakers, how this is gonna sound. So let's turn on the radio, see what we got playing today and let's test the clarity of this one it's not bad there's not a whole lot of bass going on there but i guess it's as expected for a four speaker sound system so it is not bad but i do kind of feel like the sport trim level should have a little better of a sound system sport trim level kind of appealing to younger buyers who in my opinion do appreciate music a little bit more so maybe a little constructive criticism there but so then last thing on the tech display i wanted to mention is when you do put the civic sedan in reverse you will find a rear view camera for every single trim level letting you know who or what is behind you which is always is going to lead me into safety and so 
to start, there are front side and side curtain airbags. In the back, you'll find latch, aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Also rear child door locks back there as well. Tire pressure monitoring system will come standard along with Honda Sensing. This is the good one. This comes for every single trim level and it's going to include forward collision warning, lane departure warning, road departure mitigation system, lane keep assist, and adaptive cruise control. That is definitely a good bit of safety for every single trim. And then to add to that, if you went with the EX trim level and up, you will also get Honda Lane Watch technology as well. And but so that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay gold.